lotion because look, Lowe said, Lowe said that she started sweating, right? She said she started sweating. Lowe said that she started sweating and that that's the reason why the lotion started clumping up down her leg. That's what she said. I'm just saying what she said. So let's let's test that theory, bitch. I want to test it because I know your ass lying, ho. Don't do that. And we're going to test that theory, bitch. We finna have science class in this hoe. I'm sick of this lying ass bitch. Yeah, and I started, and that's what did it. Yeah, I was sweating. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. What does lotion smell good as fuck? Okay, let's see what happens, y'all. It's crazy. I don't... I don't see... I don't see... Nothing clumping up. I don't see... I don't see nothing... Looking like discharge... Um, low. <sighs> this is this is a shame and a scandal, bitch. This is a shame and a fucking scandal, bitch. This hoe got some fucking nerve. Shame and a fucking. This hoe got some fucking nerve. Her shit look like cottage cheese. Well, so she just put lotion on, she just let it sit on top of her skin. <sighs> Thank you, y'all. Lo was a liar. A leaky ass liar with a leaky ass faucet for a dick. She has some fucking nerve, bitch. Oh, basically, Red Velvet, we were just discussing Lo having that package and these messages between um, Lo's um, former dykes. Um, basically, um, Breon was messaging one of the dykes and he said, Hey, I got somebody that got that want to talk to you about something real serious. The other dyke said, About what? And Breon says, about some health shit about Lo. They said, Lauren, because Lo's name is Lauren. How you find me? How you know me? This dyke, the other dyke sent the messages to Lo. And Lo showed them on live and thought she was eating that up. Okay. Um. Also, we talked about the fact that Savannah was in Mexico with her. And that the doctor asked Lo about the discharge as well. And also, Lo was avoiding doing... um blood work and the fact that Lo, this sneaky ass fat ass bitch really gave it to Breon gave Breon that shit and then exposed Breon's status and we also just did a science experiment where I took a lotion um, I rubbed it in and then I had this nice fancy water bottle that sprays beautifully like, like a mist so we want to imitate the sweat um there was nothing that clumped down. House in Virginia. That's what he gave. He gave him a nice um three acre property in Virginia with trees and ponds and everything. A nice, beautiful three acres in Virginia. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you for the CA. If y'all want to send me any more CAs, that's my CA right there. I'm very much appreciative of all CAs and all gifts that I'm receiving. So, anyways, yeah. That's basically what we're discussing. So this bitch, this CPN using ass bitch. That everybody been pulling up for the last few days is giving out property in Virginia. 
So I don't know who Lowe's real estate agent is, but that bitch is eating. That bitch is eating. Eating off of love and all her peoples. It was thick as fuck. And again, I would love to show y'all all my pictures. Um, Who hasn't seen all my pictures? Y'all want to see all of them? I'm going to get more printed too. I got to get some print of the pastor too. Because he won't stop keeping my name in his faggot ass mouth. So yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of pictures made. This leaky low. Oh, shit. This trying to be fun looking stupid with his stupid ass and his gay ass headband, the rainbows. This trying to be crying. But we cry twice a week with his crybaby ass. He looks so cute. Mm, look at the big baby. So cute. Then we have Cherry. Don't put her ugly ass hair in a bob. Put a put a bob in a ponytail with a stupid ass. Looking dumb as fuck. Got them beady beads on the back of her neck. Her kitchen on fire. Then I got Cherry the man with her daddy ass hairline. Looking stupid as fuck. Like, girl, we don't want to see you get your hair done. We just want to see the after because you look like a fucking man. Then we have goddamn um Barbie. Ugly ass, fucked up ass teeth. All of them round on the ends. Like, I thought teeth were supposed to be square. She got short teeth. And she got nipples on her cheeks. Then, we got Trina and his son. Dry ass lips and shit. White hair and his mustache. And the same teeth as his motherfucking daddy. Then... I got Yetta looking like a Karen. Looking like she finna go tell with her snitch ass. Then I got Stone. Stone the fucking monkey. With them pill bottles. But yeah. I gotta get more printed. I need to get Pastor. And. Who else should I get pictures printed of? I need to get Pastor and. Oh, I got this one ugly ass picture of Nunu, but she don't get on here no more. Cuddy. Canine. Oh, I can get pictures of him because he's been looking a mess. He's been looking so hungry lately. Oh, I should get some of, um, of Ari's hungry looking ass too. But that bitch be looking like a, a, a skeleton, bitch. I got some of drama stone if I can get printed too. Detroit thought. Honey V. Bet. I want to get that one meme made of Honey V. That one where they got her next to that dog with them eyebrows. I want to get that meme printed out. No shade. I was thinking about that too. But I feel like his voodoo, it didn't really hit for me. Like when I was watching it, I was like, oh, this shit going to come right back on his ass. No shade. No shade. God, Zeus. No shade. And get a lot of these ugly hoes printed out. Because I need to have references when I talk about the ass. Because no shit, I feel like we all need to try to come up with different content. Like how Charlie got his TV. That's the only reason why I didn't do TV type shit. Because I feel like let me come up with something a little different. Because we all don't got to do the same shit. You know? Yeah, switch it back to him. No shade. Because he really be thinking he eating it. He really be thinking he's eating it. This lotion smell good as fuck. Let me put some on. This shit smell good. Yeah, I know smooth on here. I like smooth. I feel like smooth is like one of the somewhat, not even somewhat, he's one of the most normal niggas on the messy side, if that makes sense. Hey, Mimi. I get this from this place called Taj in Atlanta. It's multi butter. I get my oils and my lotions from the place called Taj. But it's multi butter by Ninon. You know if I'm saying that right. Mm. It's not good as fuck. But yeah, y'all. Get some pictures of my line. That girl lied on Smooth. She didn't have no proof. She never met Smooth. She said she had a sex tape with Smooth. Um, she said she the first time they fucked was in a car. Hey Callie. She said the first time they fucked was in a car. Whole time. 
They never even met. And then the sex tape that she showed them was in the house on the couch. And it wasn't even her in the sex tape. Um, for whatever reason, y'all yeah, pronounce him a Brandon too. For whatever reason, they're trying to paint him a certain way or trying to like create a narrative about him. Cause y'all know, like for whatever reason, the church don't want to see another nigga on the app get clout or be respected. They rather people respect pastor, even though he suck dick and pussy at the same time, have all these orgies, kids he barely take care of. Like they want, they want to respect the degenerate. Whereas Smooth, he lived with his baby mama. I think they're married. They have more than one kid together. He take care of his home. He cool. He give his opinion on shit and he's unbiased. I Thank you, Kelly. They rather gas up that type of a nigga. They don't want no other nigga to come on here and get no platform for real. And if you do get a platform, they want you to be up under pastor for whatever reason. I don't understand that group of people. Don't make no sense to me. It just is what it is. They weird. So what they do is they want to perpetuate this narrative and carry out a lie that's not even true. And then make it content. Like last night, I just happened to be in Smooth Live. I, I've never really caught Smooth during panels. So I was in his live. I was in his live for about like five, ten minutes. Just in his comments, gifting, and just listen to them on the panel. It was cool. Why did Cuddy um, and Pastor start trying to get him to line? So they wanted him to end his whole panel to line them. And me personally, I agree with what his panel was saying. His panel told him, don't line them. Don't line them. Just stay in here. It's chill. And I said, yeah, I feel like you shouldn't line them either. Just stay in here. It's chill. I like panels. I feel like we be messy all day. When it gets to a certain point at nighttime, folks just want to chill. We don't necessarily want to sit up in a three-way PK and argue or watch nobody argue neither. It's like two in the morning. So I said, them, don't do it. And the people, they had all them church trolls in the comments. Shut the fuck up. You obsessed with pastor. You just in here because of pastor. Why would I be in smooth live because of pastor? Does that make sense to you? Anyways, so Cuddy come up and join the panel on one of his foo-foos. And he's like, join the panel. Join the three-way PK with us. So I jumped up there too. And I said, him, I told him, nigga, now you bet. Now you're bet. No. No. He don't want to come over there. If he was going to come over there with y'all, he would have. And then he leave and come back on his foo -foo again. And he starts asking questions about the girl and him fucking with some girl cheating on his wife. It's like they have an obsession. Like, I feel like it almost come across gay because, see, I, I had seen a video that Noni had showed um, a while ago. In the video, it was an old video when Cuddy and Pastor was beefing. And in the video, Cuddy was like, you know, arguing with Pastor. And Pastor was like, yeah, I'm going to tell your wife you cheating on her. This, this, and that. Cuddy turned around and said to him, why would you do that? That's gay as fuck. Do you want to fuck me or something? Why do you want to break me and my wife up? Fast forward now, now you up under that same nigga that you thought was trying to fuck you and you thought was weird and you doing the same shit. Quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if Cuddy and Pastor was fucking. Because that's what it's starting to get. You his flunky, you sit up under his left nut, and on top of that, you go around handling his, his light work on the app for him, bitch. And that's the same nigga you said was gay and the same nigga you thought was weird for being up in your marriage. Now you up in smooth marriage. Yeah, his wee wee little as fuck. Don't know why any bitch married his little dick having ass. So anyways, he up in the box and he started bringing up how that girl started saying this and that. Whole time it was a lie anyways. So they was willing to perpetuate a lie about Smooth to try to break up him and his wife or make a scene on the app or to try to make Smooth not look like the nigga that he really is. That's jealousy to me. When you see a nigga getting respect for being a family man, being a father, being there for the th the birth of his uh, baby, all this and all that, you want to go around with, with a liar stand with no real evidence. Never met Smooth in real life. It's going to come on this app and lie. Going to say that she fucked him in a car the first time they fucked, the first and only time they fucked. You're going to say that you fucked him in a car, but the video that we see that you said you fucked him was on a couch inside of a house. Then you're going to lie and say this man was following you around town trying to make you take a plan B. Like, get the fuck out of here with that weird ass shit. When I tell you that, um, all right, but have fun, Mimi. That group of people is messy and fucking weird. I mean that shit. Them hoes is obsessed with pastor and obsessed with having his dick up in their mouth. Like, it's to the point where they hate any new nigga that come around. Deep down the side. They want Pastor to get all the attention. They want Pastor to get all the gifts. But unfortunately, he's not a host anymore. 
No more hoes ride that nigga dick too much for me. No shame. They give the comments, you still want pastor? You stalking pastor? Why would I stalk that old ass nigga? He old as fuck. He old as fuck. He got yellow ass eyes, a nappy ass, thin ass beard, and a whole bunch of dirty ass old bitches that, that stand on guard. Stalk him for what? Don't nobody want that nigga. Any, any bitch that done had that nigga, I promise you they don't want his ass now. He's washed the fuck up. Okay? Dead ass, nappy ass beard. Dale beard better. Citizen beard better. Uh, I'm gonna long list of nigga who beards better than his, bitch. I'm sick of that motherfucking nigga. And I was happier when he was on the m -at, bitch. On God. Girl, he ran through. Y'all remember when I wrote down all the bodies he had? Girl, that's nothing special. That's community dick. Okay? That ain't nothing but bacterial vaginosis waiting to happen. Because he won't stop. And ever since him and Miss White broke up, he been on a tirade trying to fuck everybody. It's given he's trying to be a super spreader. Like, who does that? Who go around just fucking everybody? Everybody. You get some dick. You get some dick. He don't even just pick one or two bitches and just keep fucking them. He fuck everybody. It's nasty, bitch. Don't nobody want that nigga. Besides you dirty ass, old ass church bitches. Once you done had it, done had it, been there, done that. That lady, Church P or whatever her name is, she's a weird ass old lady. And she, her face be all sweet. Yeah, my name's Miss P. <laughs> yeah, church over everything. <laughs> I love the church. <laughs> the church. <laughs> yeah, they're so jealous of Pastor. They're so jealous of him. They're so jealous of him. <laughs> yeah, you fuck him. Stupid ass bitch. That bitch is obsessed with Pastor. She's obsessed with Pastor. That's all she talks about is Pastor. If Eb was obsessed with Pastor, then what the fuck are you, Miss P? Because that's all your dirty ass talk about, bitch. <sighs> I feel so much better. I hate sitting on pressure. But, um, yeah. That's how she sound. Her face be tight just like that. Tell me her face don't be like that, Scorpio. Don't her face be just like that. Yep. My name's Church Miss P. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ass bitch. Like, if you don't get your ass the fuck on. <coughs> Ooh. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to get off here. I'm going to see y'all later. I'm going to go to the store and get some lashes. I'm going to go out with my mama later.